paintings are full of unsolved mysteries. To understand the mystery of each picture, you have to get acquainted with the life and thoughts of its creator. Its creator. Let these paintings come to life. To life. Watch our new TV program at the gallery. It is amazing that due to your program today, in the 21st century, we turn to people who are pioneers of our art school. And of course, Leonid Leontiev is one of the brightest artists of that generation. Life consists of moments. Although they are not always fateful, but they are always unique. The departing bus, balloons flying in the sky, fading flowers. Leonid Leontiev is the artist who captures these moments. As if someone paused the film and we see just one shot. And the whole story is hidden behind it. What mysteries live in the artist's paintings? We will start the conversation about it from his painting, Café in the Neighborhood. Historical reference. Café in the Neighborhood painting. Author, Leonid Leontiev. Omar Tar, 1967. Oil on canvas. He captures a moment. It seems that it's just a shot. So what? We pass by some people and that's it. But in reality, there is nothing that happens by accident. And why is there nothing accidental? Because he speaks of time. And where is the time context here? First of all, the time context is in his characters. Soviet painting is blamed for having no individuality, that it has no interest to something private. There is no interest in personal. And here the plot line seems to be general, but at the same time we realize that it is happening right here and right now. And due to the artist playing with the space, he captures this. Biographical reference. Leonid Leontiev, the Soviet painter, born in 1913, died in 1983. In 1939, graduated from the Department of Painting of Leningrad Institute of Arts. Since then, he lived and worked in Almata. He was one of the professionals who came to Omata in the 30s, in 1939. He headed the sector of the Department of Arts of the Soviet People's Committee of the Kazakh SSR. He was a teacher in Almata College of Arts. People's Artists of the Kazakh SSR, honored with the Order of the Red Banner of Labor and other medals. It was he who chose Almata. As it often happens, he came for a while, but stayed here forever. The artist admitted that his arrival in Kazakhstan was the result of his old romantic dream of the South. So, he arrived in 1940, and the first painting he exhibited was Bazaar in the Collective Farm. It was his famous painting, and it is undoubtedly exclusive painting fulfilled in the spirit of social realism. This whole oriental spirit didn't excite him too much. He has always been an artist who felt not with his guts, but with his head. He was always thinking and estimating. The theme of bazaar is always interesting by itself because it is exotic. He came to the east and what impressed him? Of course it was bazaar. With its special coloring, with its special rhythm of oriental life. He was working in social genres strictly following the rules of Soviet art, using setup with a storyline, with his sketches prepared in advance. In the foreground, we see a huge vendor's back. That was the stage sketch, made in advance, and he enclosed it into the context of our bazaar. It is not very vivid, not very colorful. It doesn't contain such oriental elements. Suddenly, in Almata appears an artist having classical academic education, who knows how to embody his ideas, who knows the basics of skill, of craft, and who knows how to pass it on to others. Leonid Leontiev devoted 20 years of his life to teaching. He brought up the entire galaxy of talented Kazakhstani artists. But painting was still taking a key role in his life. His art goes ultimately in line with social realism and in the ideologically determined direction. He worked in the exact theme, a labor fit, 
If he painted portraits, those were portraits of heroes of labor. It was actually his earning. There was a state order, and it was necessary to fulfill it in the required spirit. In the Soviet artist's art, which was inextricably linked to the life of the country, the labor theme played an important part. Depicting workers next to blast furnaces, to rolling mills and to power hammers gives painters the opportunity to show the beauty and nobility of labor, energetic workers' faces warm from labor, and skillful movements of farmers working in the fields inspired many artists. And here Leontief also proved to be a real Soviet artist of the 40s and 50s. He fulfilled an order, and he fulfilled this order faithfully. When you look at these paintings, you understand that he believes in what he paints of. The labor theme was embodied in various painting kinds and genres. In genre painting, in portraits, in landscapes, and even in still lifes, where fruits of human labor are the evidence of his productive work. In all variety of painting manners, artists were pursuing one aim, they created works of art which worthily reflected reality. They strive to show the image of doer and creator in Soviet man. The atmosphere of building on the Soviet industry is brightly and convincingly conveyed in works of Dmitry Kalachev, Albakir Ismailov, Abu Han Kastev, and Kojakmet Kojikov. The rhythmical completeness of the painting is vital for him. It is of key importance when he paints group portraits. In order not to let the viewer get bored, he sets up the group, placing people in painting so that it is still interesting to look at them. And in addition, we get to know the interesting circle of people, our outstanding composers. It is one of his brightest big group portraits. There, they are sitting around grand piano, and it is not clear what they are bound with. They don't explain anything, they don't study battle maps or decree. They are just sitting at the grand piano, almost meditating, and they are communicating somehow. They are shown as a close circle of people who understand each other without any words. They just listen to the music. There are some accents, he builds some complicated arcs, and they help to create a completely different feeling. As if you are standing near and hear the resonance of music. Real life picture is composed not due to setting up, as we repeat theatric staging, but due to more complicated things. There is some certain silence and interaction of those people, interaction of souls, spiritual interaction. And due to this spiritual interaction, certain spiritual tension appears in painting. In 1939, in Amata, Leonid Leontief met his great and only love, Olga Kuzhelenko. She was born in Dnepropetrovsk and came to Kazakhstan in 1934. And here she studied in the College of Arts. These young people knew exactly that they would devote their lives only to art. Leonid Leontief and Olga Kuzhelenko are bright and completely different painters. Similar attitude to life, which was revealed in each of their works, united them. Today, their works are included in the goat reserves of the Kazakhstani painting. Here, Leontief painted Kuzhelenko. This painting was exhibited in the early 40s and caused a sensation because Kuzhelenko was wearing red. There was not any tone modulation, it was a pure color of red. And it made her looking incredibly bright. He made her wear the amazing fashionable dress with a neck tube, with laces, with shoulder pads, which were worn at that time. She was wearing a shimmering raining coat and a head wrap. She wears gloves, and so he raised her to a very high pedestal.
studying this painting attentively, you will see how agile all is. It is amazing how the artist achieves motion and space in his painting using minimum expressive means. The contour and the picture itself are important for him. He doesn't have any spectacular colors or any immersions or blurring, but due to exactness of the picture, he manages to capture the most important in the character. He did portraits. He also worked as a caricaturist. And what are caricaturists famous for? Well, he gets the most important in you, the main nerve, your peculiarity. Portrait is probably the most difficult genre, both for easel painting and for graphic art. It is complicated both in staging and psychologically. The portrait is the embodied inner world of a certain person, and a person is a distinctive mark of time. It closes the circle in which a moment and eternity exist simultaneously. Leonid Leontiev is for a good reason considered to be master of portrait. Human faces on Leonid Leontiev's portraits reflect their inner world, shown through the outward beauty. And this beauty does not always mean regular features. The artist is looking for mystery, not in prettiness, but individuality. Kalmykov is shown in a state of fidgety. He is seated, but his torso is hogged, as if he is up to stand up and start doing something important. And the most important is his glance. He is staring at the far away. He is so thoughtful, and he looks as if he sees something very important, as if he sees visions coming only to him. And Leontief manages to express it. We see that it is an extraordinary, original man who possesses some knowledge which is beyond of others' reach. It is expressed in the portrait. And the incompleteness of the portrait also works for it, because we know that Kolmykov was blamed for his passion to incompletion, that he could start one sketch and then left it unfinished and started another one. Well, I cannot, he said. I'm overfilled with emotions, and when I get the idea, and stop one thing and start another. And this Kolmykov state, in an eternal motion, in the permanent search for new ideas, is perfectly expressed in the Leontief's portrait. When the format of painting is not very large, each element has a special role. Everything is uncovered here, both expression and sense. Generally speaking, it's a purely symbolic work. Young people, a girl and a young man, are in the spotlight. They are placed in the main ground, and on this side we see a small girl in a light, beautiful dress. And there is an old man and in the corner. And you actually read the context of the 70s. And these young people, who are confident, they are true, of course. He gave a very precise characteristics to the young people of the 70s. Those are faces of Kazakh youth of the 70s. They are not self-assured. Certainly, this is romanticism. It is the epoch of romanticism. Hope and confidence in the future was in everybody's faces in the 70s. Building his small compositions on contrasting and making interesting comparisons, the author achieves expressions and exactness in understanding the storyline. Let us recall other paintings where cafes are depicted. In 1879, the Italian artist Giovanni Boldini painted his famous canvas, Conversation at the Café. 
In 1888, Vincent van Gogh finished his Night Terrasse painting. In the same year, the French artist Paul Gauguin created his night cafe at Arles. Edouard Manet's painting, Bar at the Folies Bergère, painted in 1882, became world known. Jean Perrault painted his At the Café and Absent Drinkers. Italian painter Renato Guttuso was not indifferent to this subject as well. In 1976, he painted his Café Greco painting. Captured moments, that is how most of Leonid Leontiev's works may be characterized. This is where his deep internal relation to impressionists lays. Representatives of this genre paid much attention to light. Here we can recall works by Paul Cézanne, Claude Monet, Pierre-Auguste Renoir. Leonid Leontiev set a stress on motion. He captures transfiguration, a moment, a state. Having based on Impressionism, Post-Impressionism and Academic School, he created his own style. And how this was expressed? Well, firstly, the work itself. Peculiarities of his works of that period are the city and urban people, urban landscape and citizens. That's the main theme. The artist captures everything equally impartially, trying to capture both main and secondary, and particularly trying to capture the signs of epoch. Viewers get an opportunity to study scene after scene, as if taking part in them, feeling as if they are among the crowd. Leonid Theonsov's manner is very bold and assertive, without primeness and excessive effects, and is closely connected to the forming of shape. Everything is important here – direction of strokes, their structure and the depth of painting layer. Almata has changed a lot, but at the same time it hasn't. He shows it through his characters, but still I can feel the colouring. I don't know how, but I feel that this is Almata, and this couldn't take place in any other place. And how's that? I need to think. But for me, this glass cafe is Almata. Neighborhood is micro district with typical buildings. Is there anything more boring? But it is so comfortable there when you are a child. When you grow up, this place becomes not so comfortable. But still, he adds romanticism in it, and we recognize the spirit of Almata, of our city. Using a limited color grade and without using complicated color transitions, the artist still achieves the amazing picturesqueness in his work. Not only he worked in this context, it was a general trend in the Kazakhstani art of the 60s and the 70s. Each one had to find his own expression language, and it was necessary to find our own medium to express the feelings. You are moved by, and it should be different from all others. Academic school is single, it gives no difference, no matter if you take a portrait or a landscape. There is a single manner, a single technique, and everyone has to look for his own form of expression. And Lenit Leontiev undoubtedly found one. For Leontiev, common things of daily use are the signs of time, determining the traits of human character. We see how diverse are the signs of time and how in changing epochs our concept of time continuously change. To see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower, a poet William Blake said. This can deservedly be referred to Leonid Leontiev's art. He was the artist of the lucky artist's destiny. He always followed his destination and he managed to get in harmony with the world. That is why he could afford any creative experiment, always remaining himself.